Hey, what's up, guys? Link here, and originally I wasn't going to release a video for this week anyway. And then I was thinking about it. I was like, yeah, maybe I can release some Trials gameplay. Just something quick, something short, 15 minutes. And then on Friday, with their update, Bungie released some still frames of their next content update, The Age of Triumph. And it shows, as you can see here, the Vault of Glass. That wasn't really enough to persuade me into creating a new video. Just completely changing everything. Then, yesterday, Monday, depending on when you're watching this, Bungie decided to slap us in the face with a new content update. And they're calling it the Age of Triumph. It's this year's version of the Moments of Triumph, which, as you guys know, I've always completed the Moments of Triumph. I've always grinded for it, no matter what it is. This one looks to be the biggest that we've ever had. And it's fitting. It's the end of year three. We're, com we're coming up on the end of the first Destiny game. And Destiny 2 is right around the corner. So this is the last big update Bungie is going to do. But... They released a trailer for it, and it's a 39 second little teaser trailer, but it's probably got me the most hyped for anything that they've released. So let's go ahead and take a look at that trailer, and then we'll dive into it and talk about what I think it means is coming to Destiny in the near future. So guys, here's that trailer. Enjoy, and I'll see you in just a minute. You have led us to a new age, Guardian. An age of triumph and remembrance. We thank you, Guardian. And we will never forget. So let's take a quick look at this trailer. So it is the year three moments of triumph. The speaker has a few new lines. I guess that's important somehow. He hasn't really spoken in a while, but whatever. There's a new record book. It is the biggest record book of all time. We're going back into the vault of glass as you can see here and there's a lot of stuff that's going to be going on in here there's Atheon but I don't know I've got some speculation about it and first let's take a look at that record book so it's supposed to have 13 pages like I said there's a lot of stuff in here from what I think is going to be reimagined raids um to a new Sparrow Racing League that's going to be launching again. I know they said they weren't getting rid of Sparrow Racing, but they did, so hopefully that's coming back. I had a lot of fun during the dawning with the Sparrow Racing and everything. Uh, you can see it right there, the race to the finish down in the middle at the bottom. Then there's Doom of Oryx, which personally I think is going to be a reimagined version of the Oryx Raid. As you can see in the top left-hand corner, the Reign of Iron, which I think is going to expand off the Rise of Iron. There's also Cutting Edge, which I think is going to be something to do with a new exotic sword or an existing exotic sword that we already have. What do I think all of this means for Destiny? Personally, I hope that they reimagine the Vault of Glass, the... Crota's End, the Taken King, King's Fall Raids. I hope they reimagine every single raid that we've already done hundreds of thousands of times. I don't know how many times I've taken down Atheon. I couldn't begin to tell you how many times I've taken down Crota and Oryx. But it got stale in years one and two because there wasn't much more to do. But... I'm hoping that they re-release the raids with higher light levels and new rewards. 
the trailer showed a Guardian using the Fatebringer. So, I'm hoping that they bring it back. Personally, I've still got mine from year one. Yeah, it drops my light level down to 372 when I use it. I only know that because I used it in the Crucible yesterday, just for shits and giggles. But, I hope they bring it back. The issue that I have with it is, as you can see, Fatebringer 2.0 doesn't look to have any arc burn, which kind of sucks because that's kind of what made Fatebringer Fatebringer. Had explosive rounds, arc burn, and firefly. So you've got just a beast of a hand cannon. And when I got mine, I ran it constantly. I didn't use another gun. So personally, I hope they bring the Fate Bringer back. I hope they bring the Vision of Confluence back. I hope they bring back every gun at the higher light levels from year one. And I hope that they all have the same burn that they had before arc burn solar burn void burn that's what made those primaries so great now that we don't have those aside from the xylo supercell with its arc burn but it's an exotic weapon you, you waste an exotic it's not a waste but you use up your exotic slot just to get some kind of elemental damage in your primary slot so, personally, I don't like it. I don't really use my Xylo Supercell as much as I would use my Fatebringer if I had it back. Or something along those lines. But guys, there's plenty of speculation to go around. And all we're going to do is worry ourselves about it. So, how about this? Watch Bungie's live Twitch stream tomorrow at... 10 a.m. Pacific time, and we're going to get all of our questions answered. And hopefully, if I have enough time, look for another video coming later this week pertaining to that Twitch stream and what it all included, what they talked about, what's confirmed, what's denied, and everything like that. But guys, that's all I really had to say for right now. And if you all like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it so everybody can see it, and make sure you all subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. There's definitely going to be a lot coming to the channel here in the next couple of months, and especially after Destiny 2 releases. But I'll go ahead and leave you guys with this trailer one last time. So, enjoy. You have led us to a new age, Guardian. An age of triumph and remembrance. We thank you, Guardian, and we will never forget.